This is your Empath Energy Exchange. I'm Christine, your spiritual guide and mentor, and I channel the messages, pull cards, and feel the overall theme for the week. Welcome, empowered empaths, lightworkers, healers, and sensitives. The time is now to share your light with the world. So join me, comment, like, and subscribe, and share away. Hello and welcome everyone. This is your weekly update for the week, January 25th. Wow, this is also, would this not be like the last week of January? This is insane how quickly everything has been going. I'm Christine, like I said in the video, I'm with 24 Karat Healing. I am your sole purpose mentor. I am your guide and I am a fellow light worker. Um, and basically the, the word, the key word for the week is healers, healers. Now I heard, yeah, um, I guess just everything I've been seeing and feeling and, and just everyone around me as well, you know, people that I'm connected to and not connected to, I just, I keep hearing this theme about how, you know, we're here to raise the light, the vibrations, to help heal others and heal ourselves. I mean, that's what I've been working on since 2017. It It is never ending and it is always evolving. And if you're looking for a personal reading and healing session or intuitive guidance session, feel free to reach out below, uh, send me an email and uh, yeah, let's get you booked in. I am booking into March. I do have a very few spots for February, <laughs> which is a blessing. Um, absolutely. So, all right, let's get into it. Um, going to go right into the channel. And you know what? I honestly feel... Uh, my channels are, um, you know, this is, you know, right from God, um, Christ consciousness, we're all connected, but um, they feel like poetry to me, more and more, like everything I'm writing is a poem, I love it, just like last week's message was about soothe, so we're finding ways to comfort and soothe last week. Obviously, there was a lot of energies and squares and all that stuff going on. But now we're finding ways to soothe ourselves because we are healers. And then therefore, we can turn around and help heal others. And then they can heal others. All right. So we, the healers, are sovereignty, sovereign beings, sacredness, unity, connection, co-creation with all beings that hold the light. That is the world for I am, you are, we are together. Let's unite this sacred unified unity love, unified unity love, okay. Consciousness for all, thy will be done through and by me, through and by you, through and by we. We are the way makers, the up, graders, the change seekers, no longer watching or observing, but rather teaching, sharing, healing a brokenness, like this fabric. It's no longer a separation, but it is melding within one healer, plunging into the darkness, and it ripples out love, beauty, wisdom, peace, joy, healing, and abundance. I decree and declare light workers, healers everywhere disperse. And then I, I just, I get the vision of, you know, being shot out the cannon, like, let's go, let's go. Nothing is holding us back except ourselves. That's it. Now I'm not saying, you know, you're going to uh, create a Nobel Peace Prize or something, but, or maybe you do. It doesn't have to be some grand gesture. It can be grand when it comes from the heart. And that's all that matters. All right. Um, oh, I wanted to show this. <laughs> my my new toy. I, I did get a tuning fork as well. But I walked into a shop that is fair trade. And all of their items 
come out of um, Bali and Thailand. Obviously, you know, pre-COVID, uh, but I've always wanted a xylophone and I did not want to get it off of the big guys. So, listen. Isn't that lovely? So you never know, um, might be creating something. Maybe it inspires you to create something, play more with music, um, with art, with whatever. Isn't this adorable? And um, the wood is actually burned into the wood. So somebody took a lot of love and care to make this. And I almost feel like it's a, <laughs> it's a flute. <laughs> Oh, geez. Okay. So maybe share with me, you know, what you like to do to, you know, have fun, soothe and comfort yourself. Because really, that's what it's all about. Soothe, soothing and comfort and light work. Oh, man. All right. And let me know how you if your work still working on your vision board. I'm still working on mine. It is well, it's behind this big board here. I'm going to be uh, unveiling it shortly. I mean, I just uh, moved as well, so there's a lot of things going on. But I've been using the Trello board too, which is an online uh, digital board, and that's been a lot of fun. And then we're all going to get back together in mid-March to follow up with our vision board, to support each other. So if you want to be part of that, you can still be part of it. Let me know, uh, just comment vision and uh, I'll get you the link for that. Um, and yeah, I'd love to see you there because this year is about community, creation, collaboration, um, co-creation, humanitarian, you know, creating, getting creative in any problems that we perceive or see um, to really globally come together. That's the whole premise. That's the whole premise of the work that I do as well. It has changed so much. Um, everything I do now is anchored in God, God first. Uh, when I started, of course, and you know, that's like with anybody in their journey, it, it starts, everybody starts differently, right? Um, with myself, I opened up and found out, wow, I am intuitive and I am psychic and I'm a medium and you know, all this stuff. And then I got into Reiki and, um, and then, you know, as a chaplain as well, training, uh, you know, in, in service uh, to in God and, of course, in miracles, it all really just came back to itself um, from where it started. That's how I see it. All right. So I, we are, we are pulling from the energy oracle deck. And I always, um, I always pull a card for myself. Let me know below if that's something you do. I pull a daily card, you know, I do the journaling and all that just to kind of set the tone for the day. Um, very important to set your tone. What kind of tone, what kind of ripple are you putting out in the field? So we're gonna do a three card spread again. And it's similar to a nine. So we're gonna do past, present and future. And the past could be as much as yesterday as the future could be tomorrow. So don't get hung up on that stuff. But this is, you know, um, kind of to anchor in the healer's message. And yeah, so we're going to ask and I always ask and kind of clear myself before I touch any cards and I cleanse and I smudge uh, weekly or maybe more depending on what's going on in between clients too. But with the cards, you know, for me, knocking on it is a signal. You can blow on them. You can kiss them. You can invoke a prayer. You can maybe a little bit of rake. Whatever it is, it's your sacred um, indication, indicator. Um, also, I feel candles are very sacred um, to whatever you're starting. You're conjuring. Conjuring, creating. It's the same idea. Same idea. So for me, that always, you know, it lets spirit know, okay, let's go. I, I talk to the, I talk to my clients about this as well. And I always um, clear myself, obviously, but daily I ask, you know, um, dear God, make me a channel for thy peace. Grant me this conversation for the highest good of all. Relieve me of the bondage of self 
so I met, may better do thy will, thy will be done through me, show me how to serve. It's like, get, get out of your own way, ego. That's basically all it is. All right. So we're asking, um, you know, past, we're looking for a past card, past card for the weekly message. What is the past card for the weekly message? Ah, okay. Woman holding a coin. And this is, you know, I, I really love this energy. Um, the purples, you've got the cat and obviously the coin. So this has related to a woman. This is from the past, a woman holding a coin, a female connected to money, health and value. So it signals a woman of support and assistance coming in. And this, you know, this could have been yesterday. This could have been someone way in the past, someone you've been thinking about, be on the lookout for this assistant, um, friendship, connections to more women. And this is really invoking, you know, bringing back the divine feminine. It was never lost. It's always been within us. Hopefully you can see this card, the, the beauty in it, the cat, the, it's so majestic in the royal. It's like, oh man, it's like, this is who you truly are. You may have thought that was someone from the past. It's not true. This is who you are. Bring it forward. That's what I'm hearing. Bring it forward. That's amazing. Uh, that healing type of energy. Four and two is six. Yes. Yeah, so we're, we're bringing back that inner goddess. God, goddesses, God, goddesses. All right. So what right now is a present influence for this week um, that's attached, uh, connected to the woman holding the coin, that type of female energy? Oh, <laughs> it's about caring connections. This is a beautiful card. One and four and fives, they always invoke change. So fives are about change. What are you looking for to change? Friendship, partnerships, new loves, community, caring connections. And it's not just between two people. This is kindred spirits. This might be an appearance of a new love as well, maybe for yourself, a formal business partnership. So looking out for new connections, more intimate, purposeful opportunities, deeper, bo deeper bonds, boins, <laughs> tender karmic connections are happening. Do you see that? How tender and loving this is? Your affirmation is, I open my heart and life to truly caring connections. The ideal friend and partner is coming to me now. So the more you're inviting that beautiful uh, femininity in, dare I say, with the woman holding the coin, the more you are bringing, it, it radiates out. It's a vibration you put out and people are so drawn to it. So what are you putting out to bring in those caring connections? Love it. <laughs> so yeah, you've got the, the woman holding the coin, the caring connections. And now what is a future influence? What is connected to the woman holding the coin and the caring connections. What is a future card attached woo, to this beautiful energy? And hold on. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, you know, this card has come up before. Healer of the ages. Five and one is six. So we've got two, two sixes and a five. Ha, ah, look at, who does this look like? Jesus. This is you. This is all of us. We just need to own it through our own beautiful divinity, healing the mother, the heart, through caring connections, health and vitality, divine consciousness pours from your hands, his hands flowing through you in a healing intention resolving physical, mental, emotional ills, unblock stuck energies, revitalizing your life force. And maybe you felt this strong presence recently, but this is a miraculous transformation and know that at the deepest level, important healing is taking place. There's some fire aspect to it, the halo. 
you know, this affirmation is pretty powerful. The powerful healing of eternal love is with me now and always. Divine consciousness fills every cell. I am whole, healthy, vital, and at peace. Wow. Okay, I'm keeping those on, on the keyboard here for a minute. So, yeah. Um, also, be on the lookout. You know, let me know um, if those messages resonate, what you think. Um, what you're going to take from this, what you're not. I mean, really, it's 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 a general message, but it's something that's in the collective field, okay? We've got a full moon in Leo coming up January 28th. So Thursday, Thursday. So make sure you're cleansing and smudging. Um, have your beautiful sacred bath. You know, release all of that energy. Get grounded as much as possible and enjoy those energies don't be afraid of them and then uh january 30th <laughs> we have a retrograde in mercury a retrograde now again don't get attached to um, any type of planetary energy and get freaked out thinking oh what's going to happen really it's all about revisiting revitalizing re-looking, re-checking. That's all retrogrades ask us to do um, and reevaluate, reorganize. It's about slowing down, you know, slow your roll, as they would say. Um, it's also, you know, there could be mistakes and misunderstandings, communication, transportation issues. You know, they also advise don't sign contracts, new items, new projects. It's an excellent time to plan, research, prepare, get your next creative thing out. Like I'm working on my next thing um, because it ends the third week of February going into March. So I'm creating all this stuff now, creating, having fun, and then I'm putting it out later, later, and really enjoying that time to create because we are creative beings, right? We are so creative. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and also, yeah, the, the Dalai Lama, when, when we're talking about creation and sometimes we don't get things or things don't come to us when we think they should, the Dalai Lama said, sometimes not getting what you want is an incredible stroke of luck. Okay? Just remember that in a Mercury retrograde. I also see that it's as a protection. It's God's protection. So what are your new tools in your heart to create unity? Right? Working with the hands, the healer, that hand energy as well. And showing us, you know, where we are fixed and fixated and focused on. So where are you focusing your attention? I'm focusing on letting go and finding a new way. Finding a new way. Wow, and I believe God is the ground of our being. That's what we should be rooted in. God, God only, right? Oh man, and it's all about, you know, speaking the word into meaning. So um, be very conscious about your words. Be very conscious of your thoughts and your emotions and what you're putting out into the field. Catch yourself too. I do it. I'll catch myself. Believe me, I, it's, you're not alone in this at all. <laughs> at all. All right. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to as well, I still have one spot left in the Unleash Your Magic Intuitive Mentorship. One spot left. Is that going to be yours? Our group is absolutely full. So, um, yeah, I'd love to see you. If you're not sure, feel free to reach out. This Dream Vision Map Workshop is already uh, gone, but it is available for purchase. Or you can join us in March, again, when we have that group. And you can still, you know, be write, write your map out. You can still create. Um, there is always a way, right? If you find the way, it reveals itself, <laughs> too. There's always a way. So, um, you know, what, what's your vision, your dream, your purpose for 2021? Share with me. What gifts were sent your way this year? What did you learn? What did you discover? How have you grown? Share with me. 
share, share, share. And always share, comment, subscribe. If you're on the replay, say hello, reach out, let me know how your week is going. And yes, this was recorded earlier, but I don't leave you hanging. So if you have a question, even if you're on the podcast listening, send me a message, say hi leave a review as well. I would so love that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and never miss when I go live. All right. All right, guys. So we're just wrapping up the week's energy here for January 25th, the woman holding a coin. This is from the past and bringing it forward into that caring, tender connections, which is what we're all looking for. And the healer, the healer of the ages Look at the energy coming out from the heart space and through the hands and the crown. I love this image. <laughs> this is pretty powerful stuff. All right. All right, guys, have an amazing week. I love you so much. And also, if you want to subscribe to my monthly newsletter, you get special giveaways, exclusive content, and $20 off your first reading and healing. Um, also, you can get a guide to retrogrades if you don't know what the planetary or the planets mean. I, you know, have this free uh, PDF that I will send to you. So if you're interested in that, um, just uh, comment retrograde or the link is uh, below uh, to sign up for it. All right, guys, have an amazing week. Take care, stay safe, go heal, heal thyself, heal the world. It starts with you and that's why you're here. Your time is now. All right, I love you guys so much. Mwah.